when I wake up in the morning, I really enjoy that little bit of fear in the morning of questioning myself. Did I bring that incredibly important field gear piece that I wasn't supposed to forget that's somewhere in my trash heap? Hey guys, what's up and how's it going? Uh, I'm coming to you live today from my trash heap. I mean, my field gear that I need to organize for tomorrow. So I'm on the field and I asked you guys on Instagram what you would like to see from the field. And um, a lot of people said they wanted to see what equipment and like clothing and stuff that I wear. So I'm gonna show you that today um, or attempt to here. So I am going, we'll start with my survey protocol to explain what type of field work I'm doing. So I am going to be assessing bivalve mollusks. So this is actually my survey protocol that I'm using now. Um, so bivalve mollusks like clams and other little animals on the coast. So I always bring my survey protocol. So these survey protocols are often um, like best practices for how to actually complete the surveys. So they're kind of like an instruction manual for how to do bivalve mollusk surveys. So I'm going to put that somewhere safe. Famous last words. Jesus, okay. We're struggle city here. I'm also monitoring when my field coworkers are going to ask me to go get drinks downstairs. So my priorities are in the right place. Uh, safety vests. So these guys are important. I have to wear them for like a safety, safety protocols for most places require you to wear like high vis vests. Um, they also help you sort of store some of your equipment because there is little, little pockets and stuff like this. I have a bunch of them because I'm bringing them for my coworkers as well too. So uh, yeah, safety vests. Um, what else do we got here? Slippers. I always bring slippers into the field with me because the ground that I'm sitting on right now is usually pretty nasty in camp. So uh, I got some comfy slippers to wear. Um, always a swimsuit always because there is sometimes like hot tubs steam rooms and uh, i always forget to bring a swimsuit especially in the winter so i have my swimsuit with me and by swimsuit i mean a bra because i don't i can't find my swimsuit i bring my camera uh and my camera case because i like to take photos and videos day in my life type stuff in the field um okay i have hiking pants these are just like really soft, light hiking pants. I don't know if I'm gonna wear these tomorrow or my he more heavy duty ones, but um, I got hiking pants ready just in case. All right, I got a windbreaker and rain jacket. This guy's really thick and I don't, I can't find the brand of it. It was one given to me by my work. All it says on it as far as brands just says Gore-Tex. So it's a Gore-Tex one. It has my employer's logo on it too, which is important when I am showing up on site throw that over there. Okay, I also have field notebooks. A bunch of them. Oh, here are my um, other pants that I might wear and I just got these from work. Um, they are also field pants, but they are by 511 Tactical and they are just thicker material. You can't really feel this, but like it's way thicker than the other pants that I've worn and they have little like cargo pant holders yeah like little velcros put phones and gps's and stuff in here so these ones are nice if you are if it's cold because it'll be a little bit warmer than my lighter hiking pants and also if i'm like going through barbed wire fences or something my other pants will just rip really easily but like a thick tactical type pants is a little bit better quality as far as not just ripping if you rub up against barbed wire so that's something to think about problem with these is they get really hot in the summer but it's winter so okay what else do we got oh rain pants so these rain pants got little they got little suspenders on them which is kind of cool um and these ones are arcteryx yeah my my company paid for all this gear and stuff like that so um, they got nice stuff, which is cool. I always carry rain gear with me, especially out on coastal uh, Canada here where it's almost always raining. I also got a long sleeved uh, undershirt. Oh, laptop. Laptop's very, very important. Um, I put all my field data at the end of the day, all my notes, all my photos into that. Uh... 
phone charger. I have a wireless charger. So set that guy up by my bed. Mouse, so that it makes it easier for typing up field notes. Um, Bluetooth headphones for planes and for if it's being loud in my hotel and also for editing videos. I try to use these for video editing. And I do my video editing at the end of the day um, when I'm done in the field, just as an entertainment thing because the internet's slow here so I can't really do much anyway. So um, yeah. Blah, blah. Oh, boots. Probably the most important thing. Uh, field boots. These ones are steel toed muck boots um, by the muck boot company. It's a chore boot and it's the steel toe one. Um, I wear these all year round. I wear them in the winter and I also wear them in the summer. In the summer I just use light socks underneath and in the winter I use heavy socks and I've worn these down to minus 25 or so. Minus 30 and below I'll get a bit of a thicker boot which I almost end up just wearing these with uh, toe warmers but uh, yeah, it's perfect in the summer too for muskeg because even if you think you're going to be on dry land and you step in a puddle, now your shoes are wet for the rest of the day. So I usually just uh, tromp around in these. It's not the most pleasant for hiking long distances, but it does the job. And I'd rather have dry feet and blisters than no blisters and soaking wet feet. So that's what I personally do. But I had to remember what a, what a, it's been a long day. Binoculars. So, uh, the top tool for a wildlife biologist. Binoculars. I actually have some better ones at home. These are the ones my company gave me and I don't want to ruin my own personal pair. So I'm just bringing these. Binoculars are an absolute necessity if you're a wildlife biologist because you can't do much birding wise um, without some binos broken laptop cables. Um, I have headphones, um, noise canceling, but these ones have a headset on them. So if I need to make conference calls at the end of the day in camp. Oh, okay. Um, this is all my food um, and my chocolate. <laughs> Let me check my phone. No, all right. There, no one, ugh, no one is going drinking yet. It's 4.55, okay. Um, this is all my food. Uh, I have a bunch of different things in here, um, like chocolate, ramen, stuff for the end of the day. Um, I also have peanut butter so that I don't have to use the little mini peanut butters in the camp's cafeteria, because if I do that, it makes a lot of waste. So I try to bring big ones, and then I'll have toast and peanut butter in the morning. And I have like a bunch of granola in here as well. If you want to see a video about meal planning and staying fit in the field let me know in the comment section down below because I could do one of those too. Also bulk oatmeal for breakfast or lunches if I have a microwave but usually not. I also have vegan creamer because if you guys don't already know I don't drink dairy and there's never non-dairy milk in hotels or camps so I brought my own creamer and I just stick it in the fridge in my room. I'm getting low here ball cap uh, with branded company logo on it for the day. Clothes, chargers, underwear, pants, pajamas, stuff like that. Oh, last thing, running shoes. Um, I'm running a marathon in July, so I've been training. Uh, so I use the gym in my hotel or camp to do my training runs. So that's everything. <laughs> And now I've just shifted my mess from one side to the other and I did no organizing, but at least I got to show you guys what I bring with me into the field. So hopefully that helps some of you guys who are prepping for field work or maybe one day interested in doing it. If you guys like this video, click the thumbs up. And then if you are interested in more videos like this, click the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel. And now I am going to go have a drink with my coworkers and, and print out a few field forms and get ready for tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.